Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt to hold in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Bugs and today guys I'm gonna be showing y'all the best tier list up to date before open beta so you can get an idea of who you should possibly play depending on what type of level you want to play um in multiverses. So let's get straight into the video guys. Now the first tier list we're gonna start with is the casual tier list, the average tier list with the ones and twos kind of being the same, not big of a difference, and yeah. And in our S tier, we're gonna have is Taz as number one. The reason why Taz is number one, at least at the ending of the close, you know, alpha, um, his side special was just so busted of a knockback move that if you got caught into it, you pretty much was dead at like I want to say 50 to 60, 70 to max on most characters, and it was just so brutal at a low slash average level that it was just probably the best character run as a pup stomping character. Next we have is Jake. Jake was very annoying for the fact that he has so many arm break moves, but that really wasn't the problem. The problem was James Baxter. Yes, if you don't know, um, Jake has a move called James Baxter, which he literally turns into a horse and runs across the screen. And let's just say, um, it's kind of broken. <laughs> um, and not only that, he also has a side attack, which is his stretchy arm, which was nearly impossible to see and to respond to because of how fast it was all he had to do was literally jump and tap it um hopefully we can see some changes um, with that and taz in the future but like again guys this is just a tier list of like walking into the open beta that you should probably start off with some of these characters could get nerfed possibly not we we'll just have to see you know when it comes to the time um next we have is finn and you're gonna see finn a lot because he is the flash of this game yes flash is not even in the game yet but he is literally the second version to him because he's able to have speed boost that makes him go ridiculously crazy he has extended weird hitboxes that feels like it hits before the animation even goes off uh, the reason why he's not at the top at least for casual is for the fact that these characters were just a little more busted and you know at the level that people played him at it wasn't that crazy but still at the same time he's very broken um, next we have is Arya. Arya has a weird ladder, not a glitch or a bug, but just like her kit where it pretty much is like a almost a, a, a confirmed kill after like two to three hits with doing it. And that's why she's up here in the S tier. Harley Quinn. The fact that she's so fast and her kit is so amazing. She is literally one of the best pub stomper. And to be honest, the real reason why is her hammer. Yes, her hammer is just brutal when it comes to casual play slash average type of skill level and yeah moving on is we have rain there this little fluffy guy you would think that you know he'd be a bottom tier you know just a little a little support character you know he shouldn't be doing nothing unless you know he's throwing um a million projectiles at you now he did get nerf um through all these um play tests and now he has cooldowns with his projectiles but even then his projectiles are very annoying and still pretty much kills around i want to say 110 or 120 and it builds up damage because he leaves fire everywhere <laughs> when i mean everywhere i mean everywhere and if you're his projectiles hit you. I'm pretty sure it leaves an ignite on you, a fire. So again, just building up more damage and more damage without even having to fight you. You can literally do all this damage across the map from you. So for that reason is why he's in the S. Now the A tier, I'm going to give it to Tom, Tom and Jerry and Bugs Bunny. Even though these guys are really, really great projectile characters. Again, at the low tier slash average tier, these characters I feel like is a little bit harder to master um, down there. So I think that's why I had to put them in the A. Um, and the reason why um, T Tom and Jerry is in the A is because Jerry is a projectile but isn't projectile and it's a very abusive tool that also doesn't have attack decay. So he's definitely uh, one of the moves that was definitely spam um, in the close alpha. Next is Bugs Bunny. All his tricks and safes and rockets. Just over time it's very easy for again like I said average players to get uh, mixed up with that and getting hit by it almost every time because it's just literally massive and not only that when those things are coming at you guess what bugs bunny is flying right at you too so that's why i'm gonna have him at the a tier next we have in the b tier is velma wonder woman and superman velma um she's a very arranged character that does a lot of damage again i feel like her kit is a little bit harder to understand that's why i'm gonna have to put her in the b tier but she has word speech bubbles that are very annoying. A microphone that is very annoying. Also had a bug where you could double it. Sometimes even triple usage it um, by just canceling at the last second. Something that will be fixed in the future. But, you know, that's the reason why she's up here um, in this tier list. 
Wonder Woman. Um, felt like she's a solid character. Just you didn't see her much of her because of all these other characters that just had more BS um, that people exploited. Um, Superman didn't see much of him again. He, they didn't have like a real exploit that I feel like the lower tiers really took advantage of. So that's why they're down here. And at the C tier, we're gonna have Shaggy. Everyone thought Shaggy was gonna be some crazy ultra instinct killer. He's pretty good, but again, at the lower levels, he is pretty average of a fighter. He would probably be like your basic mid-tier fighter um, at that level, literally like your basic, basic character to learn. Next we have is Batman. Batman is a very, very light hitter, but does a lot of damage over time, but just can't really confirm kills um, at this low tier of gameplay. So right for that reason, he's tier C. Garnet. I feel like a lot of people don't understand her and also didn't give her a try, so that's why she's down there. And Steven, I feel like no one gave Steven a try because it literally says expert when you try to, um, for his skill level, it literally says expert, so a lot of people at this level just didn't give it a chance. And now, more onto the more well-known tier list, it's going to be at the pro level, but pretty much it's just the highest of the highest when it came to tournaments and like the people on the leaderboard. And first, we're going to start with ones. For S tier, I'm gonna have to give it to Finn because when you give Finn the speed boost and you give Finn to someone that knows the game and knows Finn's combo, he is literally untouchable. Like when I say guys, he was the flash, he's literally the flash of how fast he attacks and moves. There's just no beating him in ones. Can you beat him? Yes, but the, the chances are very, very low. Next, I'm gonna have to give it to Tom and Jerry, literally at a high tier level, as in Void or other people can't really remember their name but just at a high level of just playing cat and mouse literally builds damage so much with tom i mean with jerry then um has crazy projectiles has a crazy fire cracker projectile that even if you dodge it it somehow still hits you his down air is crazy his up air is crazy massive knockback wide range also it is just ridiculous and that's why he's gonna be in the top Bugs Bunny, again, once you learn his gimmick and his kink and his, I wouldn't say perfect um, infinite combo, but a well done combo that could nearly kill at, I want to say probably at 20% if you do it correctly off the stage, pretty, pretty brutal. Next, finally, we have Arya, again, that ladder gimp is ridiculous, and if you know how to play Arya, you're gonna learn that there's near there's literally a near infinite that if you master it you could kill someone at zero percent with a up 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 special yeah up special down attack up spe it's it's a combo ladder but pretty much if you get like the like the movement down on her you literally could kill anybody with one hit and, and and you're done so at a high level she is up there but again all these uh, characters above her can bullshit her out from doing that <laughs> Um, next in the tier A, we're gonna have is Wonder Woman. One of the reasons I'm gonna give it Wonder Woman is because a dev named Viggs, um, a player named Sandstorm, and another player named Sayum, and their Wonder Woman is just brutal. When I say near true combos with this woman, it is ridiculous. And not only that, her lasso is if you get that perfect, if you understand the distance of her lasso, if you hit anybody off stage, you literally could confirm the kill with her lasso because it's how fast it is and how lingering the hitbox is. It is actually ridiculous. Um, next, we have Harley Quinn. I know a lot of people are going to hate me and say, oh my god, you're putting her down. You're downplaying her. The only reason why I put Harley Quinn here is because of, again, her kit and the level of players that play these other characters at a high level is just better than harley now yes i feel like harley is a top a slash bottom s tier but compared to the people that are in front of her for ones she just doesn't meet the requirement yet and wonder woman is a hard hard counter from um harley shout out to sandstorm for showing me that <laughs> Um, next we have is Velma again at high level Velma's kit is really ridiculous and very annoying and has probably one of the most um, Priority, but again in ones it's kind of harder against the players that are above her because of um, just her kit Like I said, even though it's annoying these characters could kind of just get in there and stop her from like setting up pretty much Next we have his rain dog again the projectiles are disgusting shout out to Leviathan for showing how broken a little fluffy rain dog can be in a video game you know someone that we thought that was literally gonna be probably at the bottom tier of characters or be one of the craziest support in twos but probably awful in ones actually is kind of one of the most craziest um, characters in one still because 
like I said, the whole projectile thing is kind of annoying. But if, if you run into a good ring dog player, not only that they will spam the projectiles, they will do follow up sprue with their projectiles. So even though you dodge the projectiles or go above it, guess what? This little fluffy motherfucker is coming right after you. So very, very um, skillful um, character that should not be slept upon uh, when the release of the game comes. Next we have is Shaggy. Now Shaggy, I feel like we did not see a lot of him yet, but I do know with me playing with him and a couple others that are actually solid with him, his follow-up game, once he gets going, is brutal. When I say brutal, brutal. And it's it's just ridiculous. Like once he hits you in a combo, guys, if you're not good at dodging and DIing, it's a wrap. Like when I say his follow-up game game is crazy, like hopefully like I'm gonna show you like little clips of all these characters. But guys, his follow-ups are just disgusting. Even when you feel like you dodge and get away from him, he's in your face already. Next we have is Jake the dog. At a high level, that stretchy arm is still fucking annoying. And he's almost able to cancel out of almost, I want to say, every attack. So you could really do a lot of baiting with Jake at a high level. But again, against all these other characters' kits at a high level, he's not that crazy um, to deal with um, in the higher tiers. Next, we have Taz. Same thing with him. He can get really, really annoying, but because it's one on one and you're really focusing on just one character, you don't really, you know, get caught with the whole um, tornado. The most you get caught in tornado is if he hits you off stage. Um, next, we have Scarnet. Scarnet is up here because of um, even though she was probably like literally the most least played character. I cannot downplay her kit and her viability after she uses her ability. She also gains different new moves, which is amazing. That plays into combos and she packs a punch. But again, at a high level and for the fact that she wasn't that played, I cannot um, proceed her higher. Others would proceed her very higher, you know, if more people play um, played her. But I'm doing a list of of like 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 a player base and at a high level i'm not just doing at a high level because if it was just at a high level she would probably be like s tier a tier but i'm doing like a mixture of both so that's what i have to play off of next we have is steven steven is an amazing character and ones i think he just lacks because of his range when his attacks are very very small but again he still packs a punch with all his other abilities and his safe bubble that can protect him almost from everything if he perfectly times it next we have is superman again a character that I feel like is going to be slept on in the open beta. But again, I'm doing this based off of being played upon and skill. So for that reason, he's going to be the C. There is definitely two to three Supermans that you should watch out from my experience of playing. You know, watch out for them. And then finally, Batman. I feel like Batman is another one that's like Superman and Shaggy that is going to be very slept on. I think Tony's even talking about giving him buffs. But guys, I've faced one or two solid solid batman so when i say they do combos and they build damage they build damage guys yes his battering was nerfed to um, compensate but let's just say if you hit his batting ring a certain way you can still combo into a lot of things and kill very very easy with him but again for the fact that i swear to god there was probably like one or two great batmans and when i say no one non-existence even looked at this character is why he's gonna be the c tier but if we did on skill level i will probably give him an a tier probably a high b tier and now we're gonna go to the most important tier list that y'all pretty much came here for is the highest tier list in twos and if you weren't part of the play test well let me tell you what the meta was in this play test in twos and it was projectiles from playing matches from playing high tier leaderboard matches and from playing tournaments this is probably the most uh, the best recommendation i could give of the tier list for twos and that is velma her kit was so annoying and for the fact that there was that bug where you could literally use her microphone two to three that did massive damage that could also go through her teammates to do even more damage literally just makes her number one she was probably one of the most annoying character and probably one of the characters that was tied with the most wins um in tournaments and it's gonna find this funny but the probably the first place or kind of second place um character with the most tournament wins was garnet but Again, I'm doing this based off of player base and skill. Can't base it off of one godly player. Shout out to Leviathan. Amazing player. He literally can play any character. But yeah, Velma's going to have to be S tier. Next, we're going to have his Finn. Guys, now not only that he gives himself crazy speed, he gives his whole team crazy speed. And 
again, because it's a whole projectile uh, meta, he has an ability, again, in his shop that literally stops projectiles, at least one after the other, I'm pretty sure it works like that. Or no, I think it works right right away once he uses it, and he gets a set. He doesn't buy it once to get one, he gets a set, like, three or four, and pretty much kind of, is kind of a good counterplay when it comes to, um, you know, fighting projectile characters. And again, this is combo game. If he's able to separate, shoot, he doesn't even have to separate um, the the teams to, um, apart, like the duos apart. But if he can, he's literally dominating in his 1v1 in the 2v2 match. Well, question. Next we have is Tom and Jerry. Again, this little guy is so annoying. The fact that Jerry is projectile, but he doesn't play by the rules by projectile makes him so brutal and annoying because again he plays chase he plays cat and cat and mouse he, he is a chase game with him there's no point with him so literally i have to give him s tier for the fact that he does massive damage without even having to fight and guess what even if he is ready to fight he he can scrap because he has a crazy fine pan and the um trash can lids that does massive damage and knockback so again i had to put him up there Next, we have is Rain Dog, and the reason why Rain Dog is up here, can you guess it? Yes, his projectiles, guys. He's literally a projectile god. He could just sit back and just shoot and shoot and shoot. And then again, if you have an aggressive Rain Dog, oh my god, he's following up with his projectiles. And don't forget, now he has a teammate of what caliber you never know. Probably Tom and Jerry going crazy, probably a flying Finn going super fast, or Velma boosting him with her microphone to do massive damage. Even if he misses his hit, guess what? That microphone is going to hit you. Or guess what? The projectile is going to hit you. It, it, he's just set up for victory at, at the end of the day. Next, we're going to have is... Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny's kit in twos is just so ridiculous. That safe is the god tier lifesaver everything. And then that rocket is amazing. And don't forget his bat swing. Literally one of the most broken um up attacks in the game currently. Next we have his Arya. I probably should put Arya a little bit down on this list. But for the fact that there are some crazy combos that you could do with team ups like her and Steven. Or her and Superman her and garnet shoot even her and probably velma again with the whole like like i said the stat boost thing or even finn or even wonder woman like for the combos with her even though she's one of the lightest characters the fact with her ladder moves and all that stuff is just so brutal what she can do man and if you don't know she has a dagger that if she throws on the character it is pretty busted so for so imagine if she throws someone up in the air right and then her teammate throws them up in the air guess what she doesn't even have to waste that ladder move she can literally wait teleport to her knife and then do the ladder move at that high 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 at nearly probably like 40 percent and instantly kill she is just a god tier when it comes to duos that people are sleeping on Next we have is Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is literally built for twos for the fact that she literally gives her teammates armor. Um, some of her movesets give them temporary armor for like I think two seconds that they can literally run in and use. And then again, like I said, her lasso bro. Her teammates could go crazy and she could be one of the best edge guards. And again, she has a shield that also blocks a lot of projectiles. But a lot of people still don't know that and still don't use it. So again, that's why I, should, I put her down here a little bit. And for the fact that... I ain't gonna lie. What the hell is that sound? What the hell? Bad. <laughs> but even then, like I said, projectiles. If you spam it enough, that armor is, like I said, it's one hit. So armors ain't doing that crazy, but still very, very solid character. Next we have is Harley Quinn. Again, I feel like a lot of people think she's broken because she's just the most seen. Yes, her hammer is somewhat crazy, but for the fact that she has to commit to it and she she can't, um, you know, cancel it. Guess what, guys? Instead of trying to dodge into it, dodge away. You're not getting hit. She has to commit to it. So, other than that, she does have great setups with the bomb stuff. Again, something like Wonder Woman. I mean, not Wonder Woman, like Ari. If she does get hit, um, gets combos with her teammates in a certain way and has a bat bomb on you, you're pretty much dead up there. But, yeah. Very great, solid, solid, solid character. But I just don't feel like her kit is better than the characters that are in front of her right now. Next, we have is... Even, even though Steven was not that much played, I want to say in the high tier for the fact that I feel like these two to three players really showed that, yo, once more people understand Steven, he's going to be, he might literally be like Steven and anybody almost in any matchup because of how awesome his bubble is, how awesome his near is, right near the up, yeah, his up attack is just ridiculous what steven can do and also he has a crazy thing called rose bomb that literally i think it literally kills at 80 percent i'm pretty sure especially when you're comboing somebody with it oh just 
Just forget about it. You're already dead if he if he got you. Oh, and not only that, he could literally silence one of your um, teammates, and then you could get jumped for I think about like I want to say five to ten seconds, something around there. Pretty pre pretty annoying. <laughs> um, next we're gonna have is Taz again. Taz is a very sneaky character when it comes to twos at a high level because if your teammate is, I want to say, hit stunning both opponents or even one, for the fact that he could get a free spin up move and come in and take control of the fight and throw your opponent out is pretty brutal. But again, at a high level, it is really rare to do anything with Taz against any of these high um, characters above him. Very brutal, but still a solid character to use. Next, we have Scarnet. Garnet has a crazy kit, but I cannot put her on top of the list for the fact that literally when I say one player, maybe, maybe two players max player at a crazy high level, I just feel like for the player base, it's just not there for her yet. But once people, again, her and Steven gets more and more, I think we definitely see them more in the S tier, very, very high A tiers, dropping uh, quite a lot of these players. And don't forget, a lot of nerfs and buffs are going to be coming in for the open beta. So this list is going to change, but at least it gives you an idea of who you should possibly start off with, even with the changes, you know? But yeah. Um, next, we have is Jake. Again, very spammy and all that stuff. But over time, against all these other characters, it just doesn't um, handle up on the higher tier levels. Yeah, the punch is very annoying, but if you spam it too much, you're going to get punch decay. And it's just not going to be a good look for you. And yeah just just won't work um shaggy for twos very very strong i feel like once he separates you know the two the two um opponents from each other he could definitely do a quick 1v1 and go crazy but um you know at a high level you really don't want to be separated by your teammate so it's very hard for that to happen unless you get a crazy knockback on one of them but for that reason i can't really put shaggy any higher next is superman again these three bottom tiers aren't even really bottom tiers. It's just for the fact that the lack of play of them in the high tier is the reason why I have to put them down here. But I know for a fact that these characters are going to show some light um, in the open beta because they're actually disgusting. Like I said, shaggy follow-ups are disgusting. But for twos, I'm going to have to, like, like I said, like I said, bring him down for the fact that he probably can't separate fights um, as good as he does in ones because, you know, it's ones. Superman, he has a god tier edge edge guard, but again, um, I can't base it off of one or two characters. And then again, with all everyone else's kit, kind of just brutals him. He does have crazy movement and crazy armor move sets, but once again, just, there's only like two or three like solid solid Supermans, and I just really can't push him up for the fact. And again, kits kit wise, I just don't feel like he's up there yet. And then finally, Batman. Batman did get second place in one of the 2v2 tournaments, but again, it is one character, and I really can't base it off of just one character, um, in my opinion, because we're doing based off of uh, player, player, player play and um, skill level, and for the fact that I can't just give it to one, I really can't, guys. I really want to, but I really can't put him up there for the fact that one person is very good with him, you know. Um, but again, this is gonna be another character that you're gonna see in the higher levels. Especially that, like I said at the beginning of this video, right? That Tony is really thinking about actually buffing him. But yeah, guys, that is it for the video. This is going to be your tier list for casuals 1 and 2s, pros 1s, and pros 2s. And this is probably the list that you should look at when it comes to walking into the open beta if you did not play the game yet. And if you did play the um, closed alpha, but you're just struggling through characters. Maybe look into this tier list to see what are you going for. Are you going for a, a, a casual play and you just want to BS, you know, the average player? Then this might be your tier list. If you're going for a more high tier play, then these are your characters. Like I said, a lot of changes are going to happen because um, almost everyone has their BS. You know, everyone has their BS. So hopefully they get a nice balance of their BS so it's nothing too broken, too crazy. Because the idea of FPG or P PFG wants is that they want game to be balanced they want to see different characters on the top of the leaderboards all the time and for tournament wins they don't want to see the same two to three characters in grand finals over and over and over they want to see a mixture of everything you know they want to see little ma matches of ruin other people games and have to counterplay and all this stuff but as of right now guys this is probably the best list to go off of when entering the open alpha changes will happen but we will see with that and i will have an updated version of this tier list so Leave a like if you like the video. 
comment about anything you know i love y'all comments comment what y'all think about my tier list do y'all think that i'm on the money do y'all think i need to do one or two little switches or do you think i'm completely wrong and just an idiot and not putting these other characters that you know down the line it's going to be better but like i said it is for what just passed and hopefully you know that could still be thriving at the beginning of the game and finally this is your first time ever watching one of my video guys if you don't know i post all of the multiverses news and updates tips and trips and videos i think this is my final like i don't want to say bs video just more like a video that people kind of like look into but for now on the rest of my videos i think because i think i completed my list is now straight gameplay yes i'm talking about games against pros from other games games um from tournaments games with viewers combos montages all that's happening starting june guys i'm going through all my footage nine days worth of nearly 15 plus hours every single day yes guys so the content for multiverse june is about to be crazy and hopefully you enjoy that and i'm out guys peace she got a man she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state moved to la because she want to be famous got a nine to five on the side she a waitress but it's getting tough hard to find